guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do like a five minute makeup look that I have been requested to do and so I'm going to do that for you today. Basically it's for anyone that is always in a rush, people that maybe have lots of children or are always late for work, like a lot of sleep and then you get up and then you have like five minutes to get ready. That's me, definitely. If I have to get up early I literally leave it to the last minute that I could possibly leave it to and then I just have no time at all. So this is for people for who are always sort of in a rush and that sort of thing and the thing is I find that if you are in a rush the best thing to be actually is to be organised so have in your bathroom or your bedroom on your vanity table or whatever you have like a tray or something with your makeup on so like it doesn't have to be all your makeup just the things that you definitely would like to put on your face basically so have like your foundation, a concealer, an eyebrow pencil, um, a little bit of eyeshadow maybe um, you know powder that sort of thing that you can use and you know it's there and you can quickly grab it because that will save you so much time so I'm going to get going so to begin with you need to make sure you've moisturised so have a really easy moisturiser to use I put on the Paula's Choice Skin Recovery Moisturiser and then on top of that I've used the, the Vit is it Vitage or Vitage something like that um, Skin Defence SPF 30 Sun Cream because uh, it's been really warm here this week so we need to protect that skin um, and then what I'm going to start off with is my foundation so all you need to do and a really quick thing is just pop it leave a squid on the back of your hand or something and I'm going to use a beauty blender and now this is really wet that's a good thing make sure it's wet because then it goes on so much easier and make sure that the first layer is nice and thin because not all your face needs a thick layer of foundation and I think that some people when they're in the rush they just plaster it on and then they think oh my god what have I done the, the trick is just to blend it out really thinly and then you can see I've got it on my lips lovely where else you need it so then if you think oh that bit there needs a little bit more you can just add a little bit more to the areas that you're more likely needing a bit more coverage and then for that you can just dab instead of swiping dab it and then it stays on a little bit thicker and that way your whole face isn't completely caked with foundation it looks a lot more natural and then I'm going to go in with some concealer this is the collection long lasting concealer is it sorry it's rubbed off um, and it's in medium two and I'm just going to dot that under my eyes, around my nose, and anywhere else I think it might need a little bit more. And then again, Beauty Blender, dab it in. And this just makes it really quick because it just blend, blends in really nicely. And these are really inexpensive. If you don't have a Beauty Blender, which I'm sure most people probably do these days, this one is a Real Techniques one, so from Boots, Super Drug and then like a fiver, so it's not like they're really expensive and unaffordable or anything like that not like the actual beauty blenders that are like £18 per sponge and that's that done, so now I feel like my skin is a lot more sort of fresher and looks a lot more even out and I don't feel like I'm completely patchy or anything like that so I'm going to just move on and I'm going to powder my face with again a little Real Techniques brush here this is their contour brush actually I'm just going to rub that over my eyelids I don't powder too much because I have dry skin obviously if you have oily or combination skin you'll want to powder a little bit more than me but I really don't feel like I need to powder if at all to be honest I just sort of do it around my eyes just to make sure everything's in place okay so moving on to the eyes I'm going to do a little look I'm going to use the Tanya Burr Birthday Suit Palette, again these are from Superdrug. Um, this one has four colours in it, marzipan, toast, cocoa sugar and a soft truffle. But today we're going to use toast, marzipan and soft truffle and not use cocoa sugar because this is going to be like a day look, not a glittery evening look. So I'm just going to take a blending brush, so it's always good to have a few brushes available as well. Um, these are, this one's a MAC 217, this is a Zoeva brush which I think are really really good, this is a Lux Soft Definer and this one is a Spectrum 8A08 brush again, 
great for like blending in the crease and stuff like that. These are really beautiful and super soft. So I'm going to start off with that Spectrum one. And I'm going to go into Toast. Just here, this lovely little colour here. And this is just going to go into the crease. The good thing about this colour is it's quite natural. So it doesn't really, you don't have to be too precise with it. You just sort of put it in the crease and go round. Because you want it to blend out, you don't want it to be like a, a defined line or anything like that. And then do the same on the other eye. And then also a good thing to have is a good flat brush. This is the Spectrum A13 brush. And this one here is the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. This is just great for patting on colour. So I'm going to take the Zoeva one this time. And then I'm going to go into Marzipan. Which is just a lovely sort of, it's kind of more of a highlight. But I'm going to pop this all over the lid of my eye because I just think it's really pretty. And again, it's really quick and easy. Just popping it all over my lid. And you can dab it as well, which just will intensify the colour more. And if you swipe it, it'll obviously make the colour a bit more thinner. And then taking the Spectrum brush again, quickly go back into Toast and go back and forth on top. And that just ensures everything's blended out. Okay, so another brush which is great to have is an angled brush. This is actually a brow line brush from Zoeva, but I'm going to use it on my eyes in this colour Soft Truffle. And what I'm going to do with this actually, instead of using eyeliner, because I don't want my look to be too in your face, because for me a day look I feel it should be a bit more softer, a bit more pretty, a bit more, oh does she have makeup on or does she not? Does she? Um, you know, obviously you do, but you know, really nice and subtle and pretty. And so I'm going to just pop this on my lash line and this will just sort of define your lashes a bit more but not look too intense. So you just want to drag it across your lash line exactly the same on the other side I know this video is obviously going to be longer than five minutes, but of course I'm trying to explain to you exactly what I'm doing, but it is so quick, so easy, you literally just shove it on, and it's not too bad if you go wrong because everything is soft and subtle and it's just easily blended away. Like if I went up here by accident, you can just use your finger, take it off. And also it's makeup, it really doesn't matter too much, does it? Okay, so using that brush again and the soft truffle, I'm actually just going to go right here on my lash line and just blend that in. This again will define my lower lashes but won't be too hard or anything like that. Okay, and then for the last bit of the eyes I'm going to use some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara which I use all the time. And I'm just going to coat my lashes. And also the bottom. And another great tip to have is just to have a little spoolie or like a, a disposable mascara one. Because if you get any clumps and that you don't want, if you don't like clumpy mascara, you can then just brush through it. I don't really have any, but then I'll take them away and it's really quick and easy. You just do 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 and it's done. For the brows, it's something really good to use is a uh, a pencil. It's really quick, really easy. If you get the correct colour, then you don't have to worry about anything. This is the MAC. Oh, what colour is it? Um, I can't remember the colour but I'll link it down below. And really easy, you can just fill them in like insanely quickly. You just sort of do little strokes. Let your brush, like you're drawing on little fine lines. And then your brows much fuller very quickly and do exactly the same on the other side. It's also quite waxy, so it does keep your brows in place. Like that, and then you can have a great thing is a little bit of eyebrow gel. This is the Gimme Brow Gel from Benefit. Just to brush them, which takes like two seconds. And that just keeps them in place for the day. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do, Sleek Blush Palette in the colour Suede, which I just think is such a pretty colour. It's sort of like a bronzy 
terracotta blush. It's really beautiful. I'm just going to take that, smile, and just put that on the apples of my cheeks. Just to give myself a little bit of colour, but again I want it quite natural. So I'm not going to bronze and contour and stuff for this look because I don't think it's necessary. And you can just give you a nice soft glow. Now you really don't need a highlight or anything like that, but if you did want to, you know, quickly on the tops of your cheekbones here. Just makes everything look a bit dewier. Down your nose even. On your brow bone. On your cupid's bow. Voila. For my lips, I like to use a lip liner because I find that this makes it so much quicker to put on any lipstick or lip gloss or anything like that because you can just draw your lips pretty quickly. I'm going to put Martha Moo on from the Tanya Burr collection again on top and this is like a liquid lipstick. And then to finish off the look, I'm just going to spray myself with the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, which is completely not necessary, but I like to do it. And let that dry. So that's it for this look. As you can see, it is really pretty and dewy and gorgeous. I mean, you don't even have to do this much with the eyes. I normally, if I am in a lot of rush, I just sort of put mascara on and make sure my skin looks great because I just love that if my skin looks good then I feel better um, and you know do what you want to do but things don't have to take a long time makeup doesn't have to be a chore it can be quick and it can be fun so you know just <laughs> don't worry about if it goes wrong either because just take it off it's, it's, it's not a big deal at all and good things to wear are like liquid lipsticks that don't come off very easily, you're not going to have to put it back on in like five minutes, it'll last, last nearly an hour, I must say. I mean, some people say it lasts all day on them, for me it lasts about an hour because I find that things peel a lot on my lips, I think I suck them a lot or something, I'm not sure. But you know, just enjoy makeup, you know, have some fun with it and don't be scared of it at all because there's nothing to be scared of at all. You know, try more vibrant looks if you have more time and see what it looks like, you know, the a key for makeup is blending. Blend, 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 and you'll be absolutely fine. By the way, I just want to say, I absolutely love my t-shirt right this now. It has watermelon on it. And it is from Forever 21. And I have done a bit of shopping on there. So next week you're going to be having a haul video and it is going to be huge. So keep watching out for that. I mean, I couldn't not wear this t-shirt before filming the video because I'm still waiting for some stuff to come and I just had to wear it, so I don't feel bad at all. I love it. Look at it. So cool. So cool, so cool. Okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Do give it a thumbs up. Remember to enjoy yourself and do subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. See you later.